Hello there everyone, welcome back to Geeking Out. I'm your Shooter Day Advisor here for another unboxing. Have you seen the sky right now? Because it is freaking amazing. Yeah, I'm just waiting in line for Titanfall 2, so I'm, I'm just going around the store. <laughs> also, today is a Skyrim uh, remastered edition that came out today along with Titanfall 2, so I'm surprised about that. I was like, ah, am I, am, am I not getting Skyrim remastered? I'll probably get that later because I more interested in Titanfall 2 right now because I was a big fan of Titanfall 1. I thought Titanfall 1 was freaking amazing. It was like a MOBA first person shooter. I'm hoping Titanfall 2 becomes this, kind of like the same, wait, same, have the same formula like the first one. And this time around has, like I said before, a can freaking pain. I'm I just so excited, so excited. Yes, finally, I'm next in line to pick up my Titanfall 2. And I want you to meet a special friend of mine from the man I know thus far has sold the most VRs in any gay stop. Well, around the McDonald area. It's Bryce Omega. How are we going, What's up, Bryce? Ah, oh, time full two, bro. Time full two. The collector edition, well, I actually bought two products. It's weird. Okay, guys, here is the collector edition. That's my cell phone. Here is the collector edition, time full. Pretty much it is what you've seen in the GameStop.com exclusives. It is a bust. It's not the, it's not the uh, statue from the first one, Tapal statue. That thing was freaking amazing. It was the actual mech. But this one looks cool. This one looks cool. And it lights up too, so I'm pretty happy about that. Because I just can't wait to play this game with it. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta play it. Because I love Tapal 1. It was pretty much, like I said before, a MOBA slash FPS shooter. Alright guys, I am out of here. Later guys. Peace out. Love you all. Bye. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the unboxing for Titanfall 2. All right, guys, I gotta apologize because you can notice that I'm wearing a whole different look. I'm shaved up. It's because when I shot the second half of that video, I messed up. I wasn't paying attention to my settings on my camera, so everything came out all blurred out. Like, you can still see me, but the problem was it was too grainy. Like, exposure was too high. So pretty much, I'm redoing my unboxing. Even though it's already unboxed, I'm just gonna just talk about what I got from the Titanfall 2 Collector Edition. So pretty much, here's the moneymaker. Here is what we were waiting for. Titanfall 2 Soldier is pretty cool. He looks pretty hot. Turns on the visor. And I thought that was pretty cool. Look at that. I love it. I, I love the detail that went into this. I'm not really a big fan of busts, but because half the body is gone, they put a lot more detail in the upper half. Come on, you won't regret on the details on this bad boy because it's amazing. It looks fairly real. And what I love about this bust is that it's about the same size as my Darth Vader bust from GameStop Exclusive. So pretty much, if you want to put this alongside your other bust, Darth Vader might be a little bit taller. But anyway, let's get back into the collector edition. We have the lithograph that came with the... Uh, Timefall 2 Collector Edition, and you also receive these little nice little patches. The Ion Cannon Patch, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's also Velcro, so you can you can put this on your Velcro backpacks, uh, your gamer backpacks. I thought that was pretty nice. And you also receive the other patch. Uh, it's kind of like very World War II propaganda-ish. McKinnon Marauders Fine Frontier Finest. I thought this was pretty cool. And she's riding the bomb or the missile like uh, like that cowboy in Doctor Strange Love, which is also, if you didn't know, is one of the first films that James Earl Jones appeared in. Uh, the voice of Darth Vader. If you guys ever want to see that movie, it's hilarious. So pretty much, I do like the collector edition. What I really wanted was the collector edition from Amazon. But unfortunately, I've been hearing some bad reviews about it. Not the collector edition itself, but the actual Amazon.com uh, service. If you guys watch Angry Joe, as far as gaming goes, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. Unfortunately for Angry Joe, his collector edition, which brings the helmet, it's an actual Titanfall 2 helmet replica. He won't be receiving it anytime soon, unfortunately. And because they failed with their pre-orders for the collector edition Titanfall 2. And I feel sorry for those who have been cheated by Amazon. And that sucks because I was really looking forward to Amazon, you know, coming out with more pre-orders because I was actually thinking about pre-ordering, moving my pre-orders to Amazon next year. If they're going to keep doing this, then I'm not going to be a part of that. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want my stuff day of. <laughs> so, or, you know, the midnight releases. Oh, oh, another thing. I, ha I also have the Titanfall 2 
uh, survival wristband. I, I think it's pretty cool. It's right there with my Destiny 2 wristband from GameStop. I'm loving this. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, everyone. But that is it for the Townfall 2 Clay Edition unboxing, sort of. But let's get into some news and updates. All right, everyone. We are reaching almost 200 subscribers now for the channel. And ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your viewership you know putting the time and effort to actually sit down and watch my videos i'm building up my channel I'm building more of my videos which i wanted to talk about the videos if you guys are here for pokemon go videos i won't be doing as much pokemon go videos like i used to no god no god please no 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 i know i know i haven't had the time to actually go out there like i used to and make pokemon go videos the way I want to and I feel bad about that and for those who leave my channel because I'm not doing any more Pokemon Go videos I understand no no don't leave why don't leave I'm just messing guys I might be doing more Pokemon Go videos later on when like events that pop up like the one that just popped up for Gengar and the ghost Pokemon which for the Halloween that was pretty cool I wasn't prepared for that so hopefully maybe in the next event I'll probably be prepared and probably do a video on that but I'm just letting you guys know don't expect any more Pokemon videos as a constant i'm going to do more videos like i've been doing with the breakdown trailers and also discussing my thoughts about what i think about the marvel films or some theories i'll be doing more videos just like that and also i will be doing videos where i go out there and do midnight releases or midnight premieres like the dr strange midnight premiere my first midnight premiere i'm gonna be shooting for dr strange at regal cinemas which is between a seven o'clock showing and a ten o'clock showing i don't know i'm not sure which one to choose yet i will be advising you guys on twitter and facebook and also instagram and also I'll be doing let's plays because i got my xbox one back Mwah. yeah and i love it it's a beautiful system if you want to check out the unboxing click here for the unboxing again thank you ladies and gents for checking out my videos and thank you for those who have subscribed who are sticking around to watch more of my videos thank you once again and hopefully i'll see you in the next geeking out i'm your student name my so may the fun be with you always